Hello and welcome to Earthquake Tip number seven. My name is Shailesh Kumar Akarwal, Executive Director, Building Materials and Technology Promotion Council, and I'm going to present to you all about earthquakes, its concepts, terminologies, and how to construct buildings and structures to withstand earthquake forces through 32 earthquake tips, which are authored by Professor C. V. R. Murthy, mentored by Professor Sudhir Kumar Jain, and developed by IIT Kanpur in association with BMTBC. Through these tips, our aim is to spread right technical information in simple to understand language to our professionals who are in the field designing and constructing structures, especially uh, architects and engineers. Before we start, let's make a pledge that any new structure we design or build must be earthquake resistant. The earthquake tip number seven will educate you on how buildings twist during earthquakes. Let us first understand why buildings twist during earthquakes. Let me give you the analogy of a swing. As you can see in this figure, we all enjoy rope swing in our childhood. The swing comprises of, uh, of a wooden uh, cradle or a plank tied with coir or nylon ropes to the strong branch of a tree. Its modified version can be seen nowadays in urban parks where plastic cradle tied with steel chains to a steel frame. If the rope swing is tied identically with two equal ropes, it swings equally when you sit in the middle of the cradle. Otherwise, there will be twist. Buildings are also like these rope swings, as you can see in the uh, figure below. In fact, they are inverted swings, means buildings are attached at the ground, whereas swings are attached from the top. The vertical walls and columns of the buildings are like ropes and floors are like cradles. As the swing vibrates through external push, similarly, buildings vibrate back and forth on account of ground shaking due to earthquake. Imagine buildings with more than one story. As you can see in figure one right hand side, uh, they are like rope swings with more than one cradle. Now let's look at the building uh, layout plan. Uh, building layout plan is nothing but if you see the building from the sky, it looks like as shown in this figure two, the small rectangles which you show, which you see here are vertical members, uh, namely uh, columns. Buildings with identical vertical members and that are uniformly placed in two horizontal directions when shaken at its base in certain directions, swings back and forth so that all the points on the floor move horizontally by the same amount in the direction of shaking, as you can see in this figure. Now let's go back to the example of a rope swing on the tree. If you sit on one end of the cradle, it twist means it moves more on one on the side you are sitting. This also happens sometimes when more of your friends bunch together and sit on one side of the swing. Imagine in similar fashion your building. If the mass of the flow of the building is more on one side, uh, let's say uh, one side of the building may have a storage or library, then, uh, then that side of the building moves more underground movement. As you can see here in this figure, the heavier side of the building moves such that its floor displays horizontally as well as it rotates. That means building twists on the heavier side. Let's again consider the rope swing on the tree. As you can see in this figure, this time let the two ropes with which the cradle is uh, tied with the branch of the tree uh, be different in uh, lens as shown in figure 4a such a swing will also twist even if you sit in the middle similarly let's take this analogy to the building if in buildings with unequal vertical members that is beams uh, columns and walls floor 
twist as shown in this figure 4b. Similarly, buildings which have walls only in uh, two sides or only on one side and thin columns along with other as shown in this figure 4c, these buildings also undergo twisting during shaking at the ground level. It may be clear from these analogies and uh, buildings to you that building, buildings having irregular shapes in plan tend to twist during earthquake. Let's look at this figure 5 where you can see the building is having propped overhang. This overhanging portion swings during uh, shaking causing twisting as well as horizontal displacement of floors. Now let's understand what does this twisting do to the uh, building members that means our columns and walls. Twist in the building is also known as torsion in engineering terms. That means different portions at same floor level move horizontally by different amount during twisting. This induces more damage in the columns and walls on the side that moves more as you can see in this figure. It has been seen during past earthquakes that many buildings have been severely affected by this excessive torsional behavior. Therefore, it is best to minimize this twist if not completely avoid by ensuring that buildings have symmetry in plan means uniformly distributed mass and uniformly placed vertical members that is columns and walls. Let me repeat here again that symmetrical buildings will perform better during earthquakes as there will not be any, any twist. If this twist cannot be avoided due to functional requirements, the special calculations need to be done to account for this additional shear force arising due to twisting in the design of the buildings. The IS-1893, the seismic code, have made provisions for such calculations. But please remember, as a parting note to this tip, that for sure, buildings with twists, that is, unsymmetrical buildings, will perform poorly during earthquake shaking. This is all about twisting of buildings during earthquakes. You can download the tip from www.bmtpc.org website. The next earthquake tip, that is the tip number eight, will be on what is the seismic design philosophy for buildings. Thank you very much.